really in some of the gloomiest months of the Second World War, when, uh, when Picasso was in a way confined to his studio, he was allowed to paint but not allowed to exhibit by the occupying forces. Um, he'd actually, personally, he'd, he'd, he'd had a very traumatic month just before he painted this in that he was, he was subject to a hoax a few weeks before where someone had told him he was about to be deported to, to, to Germany. Um, in any case, here we see him working in the studio, uh, portraying most likely Dora, his, his lover of the time, although the relationship with Dora was, a, a, was about, to, about to be extinguished because Francoise, his next companion, had a few months earlier appeared on the scene. So this is, this is Dora and Picasso towards the end of their relationship together. Um, uh, what's very noteworthy here is that, of course, we associate normally the wartime pictures, the still lives, with, um, with very somber tonality, earth colours and, and, and a, a certain sort of gravity. But all of a sudden here, he's burst out into the colours we associate with the 1930s in a way, so primaries, um, very hot, loud, dynamic colours, colours that go with the fragmented form of Dora. Um, so there's a, there's a, there's a resonance of, of years before. 